Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation involving roots from here? We have cube root of x plus 28 minus cube root of x minus 28 equals to 2. From here, let's use a letter. Let a be equals to cube root of x plus 28. And also, let's use another letter b for cube root of x minus 28 from here. Then we can write this expression given, that is we can say that a minus b is then equals to 2 from here. And let's derive this as equation 1. Then also we can get the, we can get rid of this cube root from here. As we take the cube on both sides, when we take the cube on this side and also cube on this side, cube will cancel cube root so that we can say that a cube will then be equal to x plus 28. Similarly, on this side, we can do that a as well, and then we take the cube here, also the cube here, cube cancel cube root here, then we have b cube will then be equal to x minus 28 from here then in the next step let's subtract b cube from a cube that is we have a cube minus b cube then we subtract the right hand side as well that means a we have x plus 28 then minus that of b we have into bracket x minus 28 then here we open this bracket and we have a cube minus b cube will then be equal to x plus 28 then minus x plus 28 from here then x minus x cancel out so 28 plus 28 that gives us 56 so we have a cube minus b cube from here to be equal to 56 and let's divide this as equation 2. Then, on this side, which is the left hand side, we have difference of 2 cube. And then we can write this as a minus b into bracket a square plus ab plus b square. And then uh, is equal to 56 from that equation 2 here. Yeah? Then we have a minus b from equation 1. a minus b is equal to 2. So you can say this is 2 times a square plus ab plus b square and is equal to 56. Then from here we divide both sides by 2. When we divide this side by 2 and also divide this side by 2, 2 we cancel out here. And 56 divided by 2 that's 28 so we have a square plus a b plus b square is now equals to 28 from a and let's divide this as equation 3 then let's recall this when we have a minus b all raised to power 3 from here this same thing as a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 then minus into bracket 3ab then close bracket open bracket a minus b that is the expansion here will give us this then have a minus b as 2 from equation 1 so we can say 2 raised to power 3 here then equals to a cube minus b cube from equation 2, that's 56. Then minus 3 times a b, then times a minus b, that's 2. Then when we simplify this, a cube, that's a minus b cube, which is 2 cube here, that's 8, which is equals to 56 minus 3 times 2 here, that's 6 a b. Then we take 8 here, then take minus 6ab to this side. So we have 6ab 
which is equal to 56 minus 8. Then this becomes 6ab equals to 48. And divide both sides by 6 from here. We have ab left on this side, which is equal to 8. And we label this as equation 4. Then recall from equation 3, we have a squared plus ab plus b squared. And uh, that equals to 28. Then when we substitute from here, let's rearrange. We have a squared plus b squared. Then plus ab. And ab is 8. That's plus 8 equals to 28. Then we can take 8 to this side. And we have a squared plus b squared equals to 28 minus 8. Which is equal to 20 from here. And let's divide this as equation 5. Then, from this identity, when we have a plus b square, this is the same thing as a square plus b square plus 2ab. Then, from here, that means we have a plus b all square will then be equal to a square plus b square. We got that to be 20 here. Then, plus 2ab, that's 2 times 8. From equation 4. Then here, yeah, when we solve this, we have a plus b all square will then be equal to 2 times 8 and that's 16. That's 20 plus 16 will give us 36. Then we can take the square root to cancel this square. So square cancel square root, we have a plus b will be equal to plus or minus 6. Then here yeah, give us 2 possible cases here. So the first we have a plus b equals to 6 and the second we have a minus b sorry a plus b equals to minus 6. Then let's take this together with equation 2 that is a minus b equals to 2. So when we solve here we can add to eliminate b so we have 2a here then B has been eliminated equals to here we have 6 plus 2 that's 8. Divide both sides by 2, we have A equals to 4. Then also we can get B from here from A plus B equals to 6. So we have 4 plus B equals to 6. Here we take 4 to this side, then we have B equals to 6 minus 4, which is 2. So we have A to be 4 here. Yeah and b to be 2 here. Then also on this side, remember that's not where we are going, we are still going to find the value of x from here. Then here also we have a minus b equals to 2 from equation 2. Then we had as well. So we have 2a equals to here will be minus 4. When we had this side, then a here will be minus 2. When we divide both sides by 2, then also we can get you know b from here that's a plus b let's use this one now equals to minus 6 then we have a minus 2 equal, minus 2 plus b equals to minus 6 then we have b now equals to minus 6 then plus 2 so b from here is equals to minus 4 so we have a equals to minus 2 then b equals to minus 4 then we can recall from what we represented a with we said we got a cube to be equals to x plus 28 so we have a cube equals to x plus 28 now if we use this one here and we said from a cube equals to x plus 28 now we can make use of the value of a. The first value of a here is a equals to 4. So let's use a equals to 4 from here. Then we have for a equals to 4, this will be 4 cube equals to x plus 28. Then here 4 cube same thing as 64, that's 4 times 4 times 4, which is equals to x plus 28. 
Now, we want to find x. Let's take 28 to this side. Same thing as writing as x equals to 64 minus 28. And for here, x is equals to 36. Now, we have x to be 36 from here. Also, for a to be minus 2. Then we use the relation again. a cubed equals to x plus 28. So that's minus 2 raised to power 3 equals to x plus 28. And minus 2 cubed is minus 8, which is equal to x plus 28. Then take minus 8 here. Or let's take, you know, 28 here, leave x here. Same thing as writing as x equals to, you know, minus 8 minus 28. Then from here, x is same thing as minus 36. So these are the two possible values of x in this our given uh, problem. We have x equals to 36 and x equals to minus 36. We can also check from what we are given in order to see if this satisfies the given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos, turn on the notification bell, share this video, give a thumbs up, and put your comments in the comment section. See you next class and bye for now.